Sydney, Australia. The New South Wales government called a world competition for the design of an opera house. Won by Danish architect Jorn Utzen. Consulting engineers Ove Arup and partners. On the winning design, the international panel of judges reported, as we have returned again and again to a study of these drawings, we are convinced that they represent a concept for an opera house which is capable of becoming one of the great buildings of the world. I was asked to work on the job in 1958. I was a junior engineer. I worked on the um, substructure to start with and the substructure was being designed in London. The roofs were being designed in Southampton and where there was a testing uh, uh, facility because it had to be done by, uh, the, the, the roof design was done by testing rather than there was no mathematical basis for the roof at the time. Because of political necessity in Australia, um, it had to be started on the site very quickly. So all hands to the deck, we're working a massive eight-storey building, and we get to where the shelves are going to start, but there are no shelves to put on them. That caused a hiatus in the, in the development of the, of, of, the, of the building at the time. The design of the roof was changed to have a mathematical or geometric basis to it, and that took a few iterations. And the team of people designing the base took over designing the top as well. So we just carried on working up. It had become the most famous building in the world. You know, it started just as a job, but then people were coming from everywhere, wanted to work on it, and um, and they did. It was a, it became a celebrity, and um, you know, you 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 talked about it with your colleagues on the way to the office. You talked about it on the way home, on the train with your colleagues. You, all your friends were from the firm and whenever you got together you talked about it. It was continually part of our lives. I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for the Opera House. No doubt about it. It gave me an incredible amount of confidence in my own ability. I knew that I could, um, if I thought about it, I could solve any sort of problem, um, which is a great deal of self-confidence in that. And um, it, it gave me an opportunity to meet people from all over the world, you know, and, um, and to understand about people, you know. You, you couldn't wish to have a building on a better site than that. In the middle of a wonderful harbour, the bridge is the backdrop, and it's different. I mean, where else is there a building like that in the whole world? There isn't one. It's a one-off. That's why it wins prizes. That's why it's got gold medals or whatever. You know, there's, there's, it, it's, it's, it stands out. Every year that goes by, new things happen, and, and new aeroplanes get invented, ships get faster, people have computers. But the Opera House is still there. It hasn't changed, it's still, it's stood the test of time and it's still the most modern building in, in Australia. <laughs>